I'm sorry. The WNBA has to do better with expansion. They has to do better spreading out the all-stars, the rosters, the talent, something. Something. Because even when you go back to the Miami Heat, bro, with a big three, it was a big three. You go to the Warriors, it was a big four. How long did they last? You know how long Asia Wilson had three or four all-star teammates? And I get it. It's a 12-team league. Finna add more teams. I get it. But when three teams out of 12 have four all-stars, you don't think that's a problem? Like my team, the Dallas Wings. Natasha Howard has never made an all-star team on this team. That's what I mean by all-stars. Like, say if, like, when I say the fever, like, let's say if they added somebody and that person was a former all-star as an aging veteran and then they added them to their team. I may or may not consider them all-star depending on how their talent scale lives up to the rest of the teammates. You can't be dropping 13 and I'd be like, oh, yeah, that was an all-star because that was an all-star from four, five, six seasons ago. No. These all-stars on the fever are all recent. They either made it this season or last year. All of them. Melissa Smith, all of them, unless it's her year three. But um, they all, it don't make no sense. You got four on the fever. So let me get this straight. The rookie of the year front runner has four all-stars on her team, including herself. The current league MVP front runner in Aja Wilson. She has four All-Stars on her team, including herself. Hell, the reigning WNBA champions have four All-Stars currently on their roster. The WNBA top title contenders, whether it's the Aces or the Liberty, or even if you count the Fever, all have four All-Stars each. And I'm willing to bet my YouTube channel that whoever wins the WNBA, whoever want to bet with me, pick the bet, though. You can't be waiting all day coming back years later to most give me your channel. Whoever fucking wins this year's championship going to have four All-Stars on their team, too. Watch. And because they're giving the Aces the MVP, the Asia, it'll probably be the Liberty that win since they ain't won in probably ever. Watch. They hot potato on it. Because the year that Stewie won MVP a few years ago was the year the Asia them won the championship. It'll be the same thing with flip results. Watch. It's probably already rigged for Liberty to win. It's New York. They're just trying to increase the market. New York ain't we winning nothing, bro. The Giants ain't won nothing since what? Forever? A decade or two ago? The Jets don't be winning nothing. The Yankees ain't won a World Series in like what? 08, 09? That's my baseball team. So the only way to really do increase the stock and revenue in New York is by hyping up New York. For real. I never understood how unfair the rookie year race was. Until now. Until now. I always thought it was neck and neck because the rookies was carrying. And then I see Kelsey Mitchell do what she do for this stretch. And then I see her have big games. And then I look at Chicago and be like, wait a minute. Besides when you see Angel Reese do anything, who else gets numbers? I love Isabel Harris. She not no all-star, and she's not getting you 25 or 35 randomly on the game. Um, Camila Cardosa, she's a budding all-star potential as a young rookie, but she's still not even better than Angel Reese currently. Angel Reese came in more ready. Camila Cardosa has great length and a great skill set with her passing and her shot blocking. But as a like a Sylvia Fowles type scorer, she ain't developed that yet. And I don't know if Dawn... Staley really ran post plays for her, really like that or not. Because her game kind of, if you think about it, think about Camila Cardosa's game. Name one player in the WNBA she reminds you of. Can run the court with ease. Camilla's a better passer. They both block shots at a high level. They both lengthy. They scream shot blocking. Shakira Austin. Same type of people, but they both... Like Shakira was a face. She had some face up shooting to her game at first. They ever since they kept bringing EDD back in and out, back out the lineups, they sacrificed Shakira Austin's development by keeping her a straight low post player. I'm kind of nervous that's gonna happen with Camilla. I am. 
But besides Angel, who goes off on Chicago? The Fever got ba Aaliyah Boston, who can get you 25 for 30 randomly. Melissa Smith can be a Swiss Army knife on defense easily. Or a point forward if she ever keep her head in the game and stop worrying about DJNA so much. Man, they got a legit four all-stars. And they young and they don't even play the same position. You can run them on the court at the same time like the Golden State Warriors did. And I get it. That's good for the league because it increases eyes and viewership. But what about the rest of the league? Like, even just go to the rookie of the year race. They're expecting the same results out of Angel Reese as they are with Caitlin Clark. Angel Reese is the only all-star in her lineup. The only one. Caitlin Clark is coming out with a starting five of four all-stars out of the five players in her starting five. They're not supposed to be on the same fucking frequency in the win difference whatsoever. And yet, they only have a six-game difference. That's kind of pathetic. Angel Reese wasn't even a top-five pick. How you got the number seven overall pick? Five or six games in contention from the same amount of wins as you, and you was the number one overall pick, and yet that number seven overall pick don't have no all-star teammates whatsoever. While you running the court with yourself as an all-star and three other all-stars as well. Nigga, if this was somebody like a Brianna Stewart or Asia Wilson rookie, you would have been locked up at the very beginning of the season. I ain't lying. Fans wouldn't have to put their sway in it, still telling us, oh, it's unanimous. The results would be speaking for itself. Wouldn't nobody have to say it. A Fever fan wouldn't even have to comment it. It'll be apparent. Yet every time they see Angel Reese, they comment it. Every time she's not on the post, they bring her up. Think about how that works. It's like you got to see it through for yourself because you don't really believe what you're currently seeing as well. And it's kind of sad to me. You got 100 fucking all-stars on the fucking uh, fever. Y'all see my channel? I'm a Wings fan, bro. It's just bad for the league. Like, think about the new team that come in the league. The Valkyries or whatever the fuck their name is. How many years is it going to take for them to compete? It's already hard enough to get you one all-star. It is, unless you just draft good. And a lot of these teams don't draft good, and they cut a lot of their top players. First-round picks can be out the league before they even play their first WNBA game. You know how my Dallas Wings did. Nigga, we done cut plenty of first-round picks. Plenty. So just drafting a top pick don't mean a damn thing. Where's Charlie Collier at? She ain't even in the league. She was the number one overall pick in the draft, if I ain't mistaken. The number one pick in her draft, bro. Not even five years ago, if I ain't mistaken. She's not in the WNBA at all. She's a coach now. So having a high draft pick, it don't even guarantee you a great team. It don't even guarantee you within five years you're a great contender. It don't. Dude, my dad's wing's got two legit all-stars, and that's what it's been since Satu been in the league. And yet... Have we been, dude, we won one playoff game in like five or six years, bro. In five years since I, in Sasu whole career, we won one playoff game. How many playoff games have the Aces won in the last two years, bro? It's easy as hell when you got four All-Stars. Hell, so for the other um, nine teams in the league, if you ain't the Aces, Fever, or a Liberty fan, you might as well not even root for your own team. They not going to win. There ain't one motherfucker that won championship in the last whatever years with two All-Stars in the WNBA. Even the last three, four champions all got three and four All-Stars on their team. And people are like, well, it's 12 teams. But, nigga, it's some teams that barely got two All-Stars, bro. Hell, Chicago only got one. My wings got two. Not a... Uh, Atlanta Dream got three. Alicia Gray, CP, and um, Ryan Howard. But still, it's a lot of teams that barely even got fucking two All-Stars. The Mercury, what? DB and Alyssa Thomas. That's it. The Storm got what? 
like three or four. Skyler, Ezzy. Mm-hmm. But like I said, you might as well root. And then a lot of these teams who got their big four, you might as well like Like, you can't just get it overnight. I get it, because the way the money's set up. Like, the Aces, they had to get Chelsea Gray as a free agent. Uh, They had the, the Fever. And they didn't get their big four until they drafted CC because they already had the other three All-Stars. Seattle didn't get this big quarter they got until Skylar Diggins came over. I get it. But what's the likelihood your team really is going to be sitting on three All-Stars waiting on the fourth one? I'm like, come on, bro. It's like you might as well not even root for your team to win shit, bro. Watch every regular season game, but then just come play out and say, fuck it. I swear. Y'all niggas can't play me, bro. Ain't no way in hell the rookie of the year front runner, the MVP front runner, and the title contender front runner all got fucking four all stars, bro. And you telling me to tune in each week, each game, like it's some either, any given Sunday type shit. When the results are already predetermined for the niggas with the four All-Stars to win. What's the point of being a fan? I might as well root for their teams. I'm just saying, bro, ain't no fucking parody. The NBA realized that was a problem, man. They showed, I don't give a fuck what you say. You really think KD wants to lead the Warriors? Man, people was bitching about that shit. Nigga, they broke this shit straight the fuck up. It felt impossible to beat. Well, in the WNBA, because they ain't have great viewership, they promote and encourage the shit. It's crazy. 